This is the day in the life of a Japanese factory worker. This is Kenta, 33 years old, living in Yokohama, just south of Tokyo, and he's just waking up for work. He's been living in this apartment with his mom since junior high, but was born and raised in central Yokohama and moved here after his parents separated. This is his typical morning breakfast, one banana. I guess he's not a big breakfast person. Hey, I see a lot of records and CDs. You must like music. What do you like? Rock music. Oh, do you have a favorite band? Oh, can you play instruments? Oh, can you play? Dope! In fact, his dream since high school was to play in a band and work tirelessly to make a life from it. But after university, his band broke up and made the hard decision to seek out regular full-time employment as he plays his music on the side. Like most Japanese in the city, he commutes to work by train, which for him is only two stops away, in total 20 minutes door to door. In his previous job though, which is not uncommon in Japan, he would commute one and a half hours one way to the east side of Tokyo. So when he received an offer from his current job, he was more than grateful to accept the shorter commute. Now he makes a quick stop at the convenience store to pick up his lunch. In Japan, it's more typical to purchase food at a shop near one's workplace to avoid carrying the item, but he particularly prefers this Lawson over the other options closer to work. Good morning y'all, I'm back with another day in the life and I've got an excellent video for you guys today. I can't wait for this one to start, Kenta should be coming shortly. Good morning! Did you sleep well last night? So his workplace is located in a quiet residential area, often known in Japan as a bed town, as many people living here take advantage of the lower cost of living and commute to their work located in the central city area. Kenta works at Yachio Poultry, a well-renowned egg factory with a proud 95-year history, even running its own farms. In Japan, tamago, aka eggs, have a place in every meal, which is why it's no surprise that the country ranks the second highest consumer of eggs globally, each person consuming on average 339 eggs per year. With almost a century of experience, their 160 hardworking staff remain committed to providing the freshest eggs possible while bringing joy to egg lovers throughout the nation each and every day. And Kenta is responsible for leading the shift workers in the Kojo, aka factory. What's that? His job officially starts at 7.50, but he arrived a little before this time. Punctuality is a deeply ingrained aspect of Japanese work culture, emphasizing the importance of being fully prepared and ready to work before the start time rather than simply arriving at the start time. And of course, before entering the factory area, all employees are required to meticulously clean off their uniform of dirt and dust, wash and sanitize their hands, on top of wearing a mask and a hat. His first task is to turn on all the machines in the factory. With three independent conveyor belt lanes, each with multiple machines, it actually takes some time to power them up for the day's workload ahead. 
Next, he checks the inspection machine and sticker printers to ensure they're in proper working order. It's his responsibility to perform all these tasks before the other factory workers arrive so that they can start their day without delay. What's that? Because eating raw eggs in Japan is part of the daily cuisine, the expiration dates are set much shorter than other countries like the US, where eggs are generally considered edible for 4 to 5 weeks after packaging. Japanese consumers tend to strictly follow dates printed on the cartons and will quickly dispose of raw eggs even after one day of expiration, prioritizing freshness and safety above all. Okay. What are you gonna do next? Before the shift workers clock in, Kenta preloads the eggs from the warehouse, as there was a shipment late last night. This factory alone packages and ships out about 450,000 eggs per day. At 8.30, all of the factory workers perform morning calisthenics together in unison, guided by an old radio broadcast called Radio Taiso. It's a rather typical exercise for many factories in Japan, and it dates back almost 100 years. Next, the workers continue their daily morning meeting, known in Japan as Chore. It's Kenta's responsibility to provide instructions to all of the workers and inform them of any important factory matters. Now, the factory is finally running. Kenta, what are you doing? Are there busy days at the egg factory? Oh, okay. What about the season? By grouping orders and assigning them to specific lanes, he's able to maximize the efficiency of their line workers and overall production. Once assigned, he watches over the lanes and makes adjustments as necessary, ensuring that all of the eggs are boxed quickly and as smoothly as possible. Oh no, an egg fell off! Unfortunately, these accidents do happen, especially given that eggs themselves are quite fragile. Since the cartons differ in size depending on the type of product ordered, it's also Kenta's job to manually adjust the machines for each package size throughout the day. So in Japanese factories, it's very common to have more part-time shift workers than full-time workers. In this factory, 100 of the workers are part-time while 60 are full-time. Awesome, the egg delivery is here. In the meantime, let me quickly walk you through what happens in this Japanese egg factory and show you how they offer the freshest eggs possible. So newly laid eggs generally arrive at the factory within 24 hours, with about 4 deliveries each day. The eggs themselves are produced by chicks raised exclusively on the farm, which undergo an extensive quality control process, reviewing each aspect of its life from health management to feeding. The newly delivered eggs are washed on the conveyor belt to ensure a safe and clean product. The eggs are then scanned both by cameras and human eyes to detect stains, defects, or even cracks in the eggs. Japanese consumers are known to be highly selective and will commonly reject products with blemishes, so the scanning process must be meticulous. Next, the eggs are inspected with a spectrophotometer to detect blood contamination. Only the eggs that pass all the previous tests are sterilized using a light 2,000 times stronger than the sun. Finally, the perfectly sterilized eggs are sorted by size and packed into designated cartons. In Japan, a variety of carton sizes are available, usually 10, 6, 4, and even 2, most likely catering to customers who value freshness over the convenience of storing eggs in bulk. As mentioned earlier, raw egg consumption is built into daily Japanese cuisine, from as simple as raw eggs over a bowl of rice, over natto, as a dip for sukiyaki, all the way to a top beef tartare and sashimi. And although specific data on egg-related food poisoning cases are unavailable, Japan in general 
has a low number of food poisoning cases, even more so compared to say the United States, which has roughly 3,000 times more. Oh, there's Kenta. Hey, I see brown and white eggs. What's the difference? Cool, that's good to know. It looks like Kenta's gonna be managing the line for a little bit, so while he's doing that, let's see what's cracking. Okay, so let's see what's going on around this office. Okay, let's see what this guy's doing. Excuse me, can I ask what you do here? I see, what's the most difficult part? So the production quantities are pretty much fixed, but if there's a shortage, it's his responsibility to help source more eggs. Does that mean you travel a lot? <laughs> True salesman, how long have you been doing this? Wow, thank you. Okay, let's see what this lady is doing over here. Hi, can I ask you some questions? What do you do here? So, why is everyone wearing a uniform? In many traditional Japanese companies, female office workers are required to wear a company uniform. Apparently, at this company, the women can choose from three different versions. So, how long have you been doing this? Nice, thank you. Hello. Can I ask what you're doing? How what? Ah, I see. The factory offers many different egg products, each sourced from their multiple farms. So we inspect 10 eggs from each farm for each product to further ensure that each batch of eggs meets their high quality standard. In the inspection, he weighs and measures the egg, adds pressure until it breaks to check the shell's firmness to get the how units, then measures the color of yolk, all to confirm the freshness of the egg. If it doesn't meet their standards, he notifies the production team and they're not sold as raw eggs. How often do you get bad eggs? In the summer though, because chickens tend to get tired easier, they at times lay watery eggs. Interesting, thanks! So I think this is the president's room right here. Hello, are you the president? How long have you been president? Apparently, he's the son of the owner and the second generation of the company. So, what did you do before this? Nice! So, what's most important to you when running this company? For sure, did COVID affect the business? Interesting, thank you! And look, they even have their own smoking room right here. Hey Kenta, orders are piling up, huh? <laughs> really? Does it ever get overwhelming? <laughs> okay, what are you gonna do next? Now he takes his one hour lunch break. He already bought his lunch this morning, so he usually just goes straight to the break room. It looks delicious. What's that? As a full time shift leader, he has to stagger his lunch break with the other full time shift leaders so that the morning part time workers can continue to work until noon, a very common schedule format for Japanese factories. He quickly finishes eating and then spends the rest of his time on his phone. What are you looking at now? Oh, what's your favorite recently? What's it about? Ah, you really like music, huh? <laughs> After his break, the evening shift clocks in, so he's in charge of running the meeting, similar to what he did this morning. Kanta, what are you gonna do now? Good luck! Now, 
for the afternoon shift, he continues on the same task he performed earlier this morning, which he's proven to be more than comfortable with. But he says that the amount of information he had to learn and memorize when he first started was quite overwhelming. He had to remember how all the machines operated in each lane and familiarize himself with over a hundred different types of products packed at the factory. While he made a few mistakes along the way, he studied and worked hard to get himself up to speed as to not slow down his team. Kenta, did something happen? It's not every day, but sometimes major issues arise, and it's also his responsibility to resolve these issues as soon as possible so that production doesn't stop too long. Is it okay now? So I think Kent is gonna be over there and work on his label for just a little bit longer. So while he's doing that, let's see if he can break out of our shell. So I think there's actually something supposed to be like back here. Oh, look at this. This is where they keep all of the eggs. Oh, it's moving. So basically they have a crane right here and it takes the eggs in this room and moves it to the conveyor belts. Surprisingly, it's not too cold or not too hot. I think they keep it around 20 degrees Celsius. Oh look, they have a robot arm right here. These days, it's fairly common for factories to rely on machines, but at this egg factory, packing odd-numbered cartons with say 3, 5, and 7 eggs, which this factory also offers, is apparently easier performed by hand. And I guess this is where all their labels are. So the factory has many different products, like this red egg, aka brown egg for westerns, high in vitamin, or these fresh eggs. Look at this, they even have honest eggs. And this place right here is where they send off all of the eggs. Look at all these eggs! I even recognize ones that I see in the supermarket. And from here on, the freshly packaged eggs are delivered directly to stores and various customers for them to enjoy. Did you finish making all of the orders for the day? Phew, the tough part of his day is done. Now he goes back to the office to take care of all the related paperwork from today while also preparing for tomorrow's production. Oh, he's using a hanko, a Japanese stamp equivalent to a signature. By stamping the expiration dates for tomorrow's work, he basically notifies the people using the date that he authorized and confirmed it himself. Although the hanko culture is ever slowly disappearing in Japan, today it's still widely used for official Japanese business and legal documents. Before leaving, he usually has a quick meeting with the night shift workers. Since the factory operates throughout the night until the day's production is complete, it's his responsibility to pass on any important information to the next shift. At 6 p.m., he finally finishes work, and tonight he's meeting up with his band at the studio in the Tokyo Shinjuku area. Oh, I guess everyone is here. How long have you known Kenta? So how would you describe him? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Maybe we should have him drink. <laughs> Bro, your drumsticks are destroyed. <laughs> Wow, they're going harder than I thought. If you want to check out his band, The Kiwi, I'll leave a link in the description. Maybe it'll bring him one step closer to his dream. Oh, is this your CD? Cool, thank you. All right, so it looks like Kenta and his friends are gonna be here until 10 o'clock jamming out. And after that, he'll go home, probably take a bath, eat some food, and go to sleep around one or two o'clock. But that's pretty much a day in the life of a Japanese factory worker. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit the like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the merch or check out my hot sauce. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.